Um, I'll be presenting on behalf of Kenya. Um, and uh, we have a multi-sectoral team, both from health and water. So it is uh, good that I'm presenting after Ethiopia, which is our northern neighbor, and we'll see how the two relate. So um, our latest outbreak cases is 2022, where we've had eight cases and two deaths in Nairobi. Uh, but the last case was on 22nd of May, and we've managed to control that outbreak based on uh, using uh, non-OCV-based uh, pillars. Uh, in 2021, we had 38 cases, mainly in Dadaab and Kakuma, which are refugee camps in northern Kenya, bordering Kakuma borders um, uh, South Sudan, and then Dadaab bordering uh, Somalia. So in terms of our elimination plan, we uh, developed an elimination plan. It's been endorsed by the ministry leadership. We've also developed our uh, multi-year plan and it's uh, being reviewed by uh, the GTFCC teams. Uh, we hope that we'll be able to do the official launch of the plan this month, although it's already endorsed. Uh, now, in terms of our it's, uh, not moving, eh? I, okay. Uh, it is, uh, <laughs> it is, that was quite quick. <laughs> it's quite. Uh, uh, okay, it's gonna bring you back. Can abandon this. Uh, on, on which slide were you? Number six? Number six. No, it's like the yeah. So, this the endorsed um, plan. It's been endorsed by all our leadership in the ministry. Um, and then the status of our CV requests. Uh, we applied for, for a preemptive um, OCV campaign. We had applied for 7.6 million doses. This was not approved, but we were advised to probably target a smaller population based on the vaccine availability. We've also worked on the preventive uh, uh, campaign request and uh, it's also finalized for submission after um, review by GTFCC. And then for Nairobi, we had intended to submit a reactive OCV campaign request, but after we contained the cases, we held back the request. So our key achievements in the year Basically, for a long time, uh, Kenya had adopted the position that will control cholera using wash interventions and the other alone. But uh, this year, we were able to have the immunization advisory group approve the use of OCV. Uh, of course, our elimination plan has been endorsed and uh, well, our multi-year plan of action. And, uh, all these other issues we've talked about. So some of the key uh, good practices we can talk about is we've developed our plan uh, with the Ministry of Water and Sanitation, which we believe holds the key to actually control of cholera in Kenya, and not just cholera, but all the other um, wash-related diseases. Then, um, of course, we did our hotspot mapping, which was validated by 
GTFCC. And we believe that um, using that hotspot mapping, all government initiatives and all the other activities towards cholera control will be better targeted. The resources will also be better focused to achieve our aims. So some of the areas in the water sector that we've dealt with, we've had to streamline the governance structure, largely issues around policy, legislation, and um, the institutional uh, frameworks. And so this year we launched the national water policy. We also have uh, strategies and regulations for water services provision, then water resources, water harvesting and storage, and we're in the final stages of um, approving the national sanitation policy under the Ministry of Water. So there are other ongoing activities which we've aligned our uh, elimination plan to, largely expansion of water infrastructure in um, informal settlements, which are one of the risk areas for us, and then construction of water pumps and dams in arid and semi-arid areas. And then there's control of the water service providers. We are registering more, but also regulating them because unregulated uh, water service provision, again, has its own challenges due to con uh, contamination of water bowsers and boreholes and all that kind of issue. Then we have community interventions like uh, distribution of water treatment chemicals and also um, the risk communication and community engagement in terms of uh, uh, hand washing and also improving, increasing the number of hand washing points. So the main, the main challenges we have to deal with, of course, we have to deal with all the other public health emergencies, including uh, COVID, yellow fever, the drought situation in the country, um, we also having to deal with uh, vaccine preventable diseases. So that strains the st uh, structure generally. Uh, the other issue, of course, is uh, the issue around um, sector engagement. One of uh, the things we know about Kenya is that uh, about 10 years ago, we changed the administrative structure. So we have a subnational structure that is fairly autonomous from national government and um, extracting accountability sometimes can be an issue. So those are areas we are working on. Then uh, of course, we, we, to deal with that, we now need to build mechanisms for coordination between the national government and county governments which we hope that will be fixed by the recommendation to uh, leverage the elimination plan at the office of the president. Uh, the uh, issues around, uh, of course, the adoption of a multi-sectoral approach with a whole of government approach is also assisting us to be able to have a common approach to cholera control and uh, be able to leverage resources in a way that is efficient and also effective. So I think this is um, what we consider to be our priorities. We intend to uh, complete the launch. Then we intend to advocate for, once we have our, our um, a brief, we need to prepare a brief for the office of the president to host the office. Um, and then uh, we, of course, uh, need to support the county governments, capacity building, basically, because of uh, staff turnover. Uh, for us, as a continent, we use integrated disease surveillance and response. So we will mainstream cholera capacity building in the rollout of integrated disease surveillance and response, third edition guidelines. And of course, now the other bigger elephant in the, in the room is resource mobilization. 
which we have to do. We think that the plan is a good source for that. The rest, I think, are fairly generic. They apply across uh, countries and um, basically strengthening the respective pillars um, as we go along. Yeah, so some of the issues, for example, under WASH is, you know, WASH, the legislative framework to support WASH has been a, a bit of a challenge, but we think that we can better enforce some of this legislation, especially uh, uh, considering the hotspot maps, we can prioritize some of the activities. And then there are uh, issues within the community like water quality surveillance, which is a big challenge, but we think that by providing uh, kits and training uh, community health workers, we can be able to uh, deal with water quality surveillance at the community while looking at the long-term wash interventions like um, water treatment and uh, sewerage in the in urban areas. For OCV, I think we've covered this. We still look forward to support from um, ICG and GTFCC on this. Um, so uh, as we had said, we'll be seeking guidance. What amount of um, vaccine can we apply for? Because sometimes we may engage in some uh, industrious applications where we are asking for 7 million and the global supply is 5 million. So we'll be guided, we'll be seeking your guidance on that. So thank you very much.